What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range again, as you can see back behind me. Been out here having a lot of fun today, doing a little bit of testing, and we're going to continue on with some jelly testing. This one right here should be an interesting 44 special test. So as you can see, we got our jelly contraption set up with the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now, I have done one test in this now. It was a big old test, so it's taken up pretty much all of that first block and went into this second one. It was a 308 test, so I'll leave a link up above if y'all hadn't seen that. But this up here has still got plenty of room in it to do what we need to do for this one now i left the heavy clothing barrier off for that 308 test but we going back with it for this 44 special it's got the layer of denim a layer of fleece and two layers of a cotton t-shirt material and as y'all can see what we're checking out here like i said it's some 44 special what we got here is some more stuff that was sent to me by chris so again i really really appreciate that it's some more of this georgia arm stuff it's the georgia arms 44 special 200 grain jacketed hollow point it's the spear bonded unicorn and here's Here's your cartridge here, brass case. As far as the projectile, like I say, it's a spear gold dot. They call it a unicorn. It looks pretty much like the spear deep curls to me. I don't have any in 44 to compare, but I do actually have some deep curls in 45, and they look very, very similar. The 45 don't have as big of an opening, so this thing right here is definitely a flying ashtray if I've ever seen one. I think the uh, I think it was a 45 ACP that actually got that official nickname of the flying ashtray, but this right here is definitely one of them flying ashtray call cup i mean that thing just looks like a big old punch bowl y'all now i got a couple different things out here to test these from the first thing i'm gonna use is my taurus tracker here this is a four inch ported barrel now this is actually the only length of revolver i have so i wanted to run it out of something else too because just to be perfectly honest with you i don't expect too much good out of these things from a four inch barrel because this thing is saying 850 feet per second uh, i just i've got my doubts that we're gonna have good performance from the four inch so i moved this on up the next thing i've got in 44 mag or special is the henry here so i've got a 20 inch henry i'm gonna run them out of also i don't think there's any question that they'll do well out of this henry but like i say i've really got my doubts whether or not they're gonna do well from the revolver but that's enough talking about it let's load these things up and let's see what they can do all right let's see what kind of speeds we can get from these things y'all i'm gonna do a five round average from each barrel length we're gonna start with this four inch tracker first remember the package is saying 850 so let's see how close we can get to that I don't think we're gonna be hitting it for sure. 873. 867 has proven me wrong, ain't it? Duplicate 867. 872. And 870, so it totally proved me wrong. The package said 850, and all of them from this four inch ported barrel exceeded that. So let's go check the average. All right, y'all, the five round average that time was 869 feet per second. I'm very surprised that it hit that 850 that they said on the package and exceeded that. So definitely a big thumbs up to them for that. Let's get this reset and let's see what it does through the Henry. All right, let's see what this long boy does from them, y'all. We're going to do five rounds from this also. Got 1104, 1118, 1109, uh, 1092, and 1115, so not too bad at all from this rifle. Let's go check that average. All right, y'all, that time our five round average from that 20 inch barrel was 1,107 feet per second. So it definitely sped them on up. If you remember out that tracker, it was 869. So you talking about what? 238 feet per second faster from that 20 inch barrel. So that's a big, big difference right there. That's what, that's over 20% faster. So, I mean, that stands a reason though. Don't get me wrong. You talking about a four inch ported revolver versus a 20 inch rifle. So no surprise there. I still stick by by what i said i don't think that tracker is going to do well i just don't even though it did meet the speed that they call on the package maybe they formulated this thing because they know what that projectile will do at that speed i hope that's the case but let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's smoke them if you got them jelly time i'm gonna put one round from each barrel length into the gel starting with this four inch tracker first let's see if we can get these big old ashtrays to open up for us y'all All right, I believe that was a good one right there. Let me go see what we got. All 
All right, y'all, this stuff has totally proven me wrong and I ain't a bit mad about it. It exceeded the velocity they claimed on the package. It's done very well down there in the jail. Y'all can probably already see. So like I said, I'm, I'm definitely glad it's proved me wrong. So let's try this old Henry out and see what it does to it. Now, I know this is kind of close to be running this Henry, but um, I didn't, I wanted to keep them the same and I didn't really want to go far back with that four inch because, you know, it's probably right there on the edge of not performing well. So at any rate, I'm gonna do some more tests with this stuff so y'all can y'all can look for some longer range stuff coming soon well, let's see what this thing does up close through the henry here hopefully i can stay out the bottom all right that should have been a perfect one right there let's go down there and see what we got All right, let's take a look at what we got down here, y'all. Like I said, this stuff totally proved me wrong. Really nice performance from both of these, in my opinion. On the top there, that's the one from the four inch Taurus tracker. As you can see, it comes in, looks like it immediately starts to expand, picks up some cloth, no doubt about it, because it dumped it back out right about here. You can see some cloth, keeps on trucking, and through that first block into the second block, maybe about an inch, so looks like perfect penetration on this thing. And and it did start to expand now it doesn't look like it's fully expanded by any means but i'm really surprised that we got expansion with those speeds and then here on the bottom that 20 inch henry just took it on to the next level comes in again immediate expansion no doubt about it carry some cloth on through there with it dump some out about right here again into the second block now this one looks like it goes maybe about three four inches or so into this second block and much much more expansion from it now it does look like it was ready to get rid of that jacket so that bonding process barely held on to it so as far as the penetration here this 44 special like i said it actually went 17 and a quarter inches exactly so 17 and a quarter inches of penetration that is absolutely perfect from that four inch revolver and then your henry here stopped at exactly 20 inches so fantastic penetration from both of these i think that's perfect penetration for a self-defense use from either one of these barrel lengths Here's a little close up look. So on the bottom, that's the one from the Henry. The top was the tracker. We'll look at this Henry first and I'll take you at a different angle. So very, very nice disruption all the way through. And then there you can see it. Like I said, definitely got some expansion, but it's tried to lose that jacket big time. And then here on the other side, I think gives you a better look at the tracker. So that's that one right there. Really, really nice disruption on it. Again, you can tell where it dumped the cloth out there. Keeps on trucking and it's barely into the second block. Like I say, you can see it right there up underneath that other disruption from a previous test all right y'all let's check out these projectiles here so right here this is the one from the four inch tracker this one right here from the henry definitely a big difference between these rounds this one here from the four inch tracker only about half of it expanded as you can see here now you definitely want to see more than just half expansion but from these speeds out of that tracker um, through that heavy cloth that's not bad at all in my opinion so not bad performance from that one now this henry it just took it to the next level like i already said this thing Thing, they are bonded for sure and it just wrapped the pedal it wrapped the jacket the took the lead and wrapped it with it you can see i mean it just took these the lead the pedals and everything and wrapped it completely up under that projectile right there so no doubt you had full expansion right there on the ragged edge as far as speed with this projectile because you can see it lost this big chunk of jacket here and it still had the bonded lead on it so like i said you're right there at the edge of this thing just going all two pieces from the speed but let's measure them up and see what we got they both started at 200 the one here from the tracker is 200.1 grains so no loss at all right there and then this one from the henry the big chunk here is at 161.6 and then if i add this little piece that was sitting beside it back in we've got 180.4 so even with that piece added still a good bit of loss and i can see it there in the gel here right about where it ended is where it started coming apart and 
left some of it in the gel. Now, as far as the expansion, we'll start here with this tracker first that only partially expanded. You got 534 and 631 there across the widest part that opened up. So nice expansion from that one right there, even though it only halfway expanded. And then this one from the Henry is definitely going to be very irregular. Right here, we've got 537. This way it gives you 668. And then if you take something like this, you got 813. So just some crazy mangled up expansion from that one out of the Henry. And that right there does it for the Georgia Arms 44 Special. Very surprised on this one. Like I said at the beginning, I expected nothing but bad from this one out of the tracker. Now, obviously it did not get full performance, full expansion. It only half expanded. But like I said, again, through that heavy cloth at those speeds, I think this is perfectly acceptable. You know, it's already a 44 caliber projectile, so it ain't like you need a whole lot of expansion out of it. Uh, perfect penetration from it. Now, this one on the Henry, pretty much the same story. I think this is absolutely perfect penetration. Um, I don't mind all this mangled expansion at all. Now, if it was moving any faster, I think it would come apart to the point where I wouldn't be real crazy about it. But as it stands right here, these 44 specials from Georgia Arms are A-OK -okay in my book. All right, y'all, I'm calling it right there for what to me was a very surprising 44 special test. Like I said, I was very surprised to see how these performed out of that four inch tracker. I expected good things out of the Henry, but I expected just terrible performance out of that tracker and I got completely the opposite. While it wasn't perfect expansion, it was still plenty adequate in my opinion, especially going through that heavy cloth like it did at those speeds. I think that's a very nice little 44 special round. Now, of course, out of the Henry, it was no surprise that it did absolutely fantastic job although like y'all saw it is right on the edge of possibly being a little too fast out of that 20 inch barrel but let me know what y'all think about the performance from these things any of y'all out there that actually carry 44 special i noticed not a whole lot of people what do you think about what you saw here today especially from that four inch revolver i've tested i think the only other 44 special i've tested was some critical defense and they did if i remember right absolutely pathetic from that four inch revolver so it's really good to see these things do well it could all be because of that huge opening on the front like i say the whole flying ashtray thing but whatever the case i think they did a very very nice job if you did enjoy the video take a second and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you got them notifications turned on so you don't miss anything that i upload y'all check out those affiliate links in the video description you know the deal with that amazon if you shop through there anyway hit up my storefront link first you go right through amazon just like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel same with the axle links hot weather is going to be here before you know it don't end up with that old sweaty swamp here check out them gs extreme pros down there and save a lot of money going through those links instead of straight to their site like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel got a couple really good tests done today and tons more headed y'all's way so be on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon